Once again, the U.S. Air Force is dealing with sloppy and potentially very dangerous behavior by its nuclear weapons units, the latest involving crews at underground missile silos. Our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr, is joining us with details. Barbara, this certainly isn't the first time, but what happened this time? Well, this time, another embarrassment for the Air Force. Wolf, let me take you right to the map and show you where this happened. One location was Minot, North Dakota. The other location, Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana. These are nuclear weapons facilities at both locations earlier this year. It's now been revealed. Underground crews at command centers that are about 100 feet underground violated the rules. There are two-man crews. If one of them is on an authorized sleep break, the door, the blast door to the underground command center is supposed to be shut tight. In two cases, one of the crew members was asleep. The door was open. Now, the Air Force says there was no real security risk because there's multiple layers of security up top on, on the surface. On the ground, there are fences, armed guards, sensors, all of that. There are protections in the nuclear launch codes. But after everything that's happened recently, including a top general being fired, this is not the kind of embarrassment the Air Force needs. Wolf? Yeah, they never need anything like this. Uh, so who was punished here, Barbara? Well, both launch crews did get punished. Uh, two members were fined, docked their pay, letters of reprimand. And in fact, one of the commanders now is facing a discharge board. An indication of the problems here and the Air Force's embarrassment. The real question, perhaps, what else is going out there that they are on out there that the Air Force may not even know about?